Okay, hello. This is problem number two for homework set number eight. This is the second warm up problem, and there's two parts A and B. Let me read you the first part. Which has the larger kinetic energy? A 10 gram bullet fired at 500 meters per second, or a 75 kilogram student running at 5.5 meters per second? So, for this, we need to know the definition of kinetic energy, which is one half times the, the mass times the speed squared. So if we want to know the kinetic energy for the bullet, then we're going to take the mass, which is 10 grams, and multiply by the square of the speed. But notice that the, the units here are different, 10 grams and 75 kilograms. So what we need to do is get a consistent set of units, and it's better to convert this grams into kilograms so that we have everything in SI units. So 10 grams converted to SI units, well, we're going to divide by 1,000. So we're going to move over 1, 2, 3 decimal places. So it'll be 0 0.01 kilograms for the bullet. So then the kinetic energy for the bullet will be equal to 1 half times this mass, 0 0.01, times its speed, 500 squared and if I get a calculator and I have 0.5 times 0 0.01 times 500 squared gives me 1250 and then so this is going to be in joules because all our units are in SI units so the units for energy in SI units is joules. Spell like this, joule. After some guy named joule. And then for the kinetic energy for the students, we're gonna do the same thing, but use this, the mass of the student, 75, it's already in kilograms, and then multiply by 5.5, but squared. So we do that, 0. 0.5 times 75 times 5.5 squared. 1134.3 just around there so they're actually pretty close but the bullet has more energy so this one has more energy the bullet has more energy as I said right here and notice that even though they have similar amounts of energy the students getting most of its energy from having a lot of mass while the bullet gets a lot of its kinetic energy from having a lot of speed for part B, at what speed does a 1,000 kilogram compact car have the same kinetic energy as a 20,000 kilogram truck going 25 kilometers per hour? So we want them to have the same kinetic energy, so we're going to set the 1 half mv squared for both of them equal to each other. So I'm going to write 1 half mass, this is for the car, mass of the car and the velocity of the car squared is equal to 1 half mass of the truck times velocity of the truck squared and then fill in the numbers so okay so first off half is going to cancel out with half so that's nice and fill in the numbers so we know that the car has a mass of 1000 so 1000 we don't know the the speed of the car that's what we're going to solve for and then we know that it has the same kinetic energy as a 20,000 kilogram truck and it's going at 25 kilometers per hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this as 25 the units being kilometers per hour. That's not SI units, but because the answer ends up being kilometers per hour, so if we put in kilometers per hour over here, we're going to end up with kilometers per hour coming back to us in BC. And I want to isolate VC, so I'm going to divide by 1,000, divide by 1,000, here and there, cancels. 20,000 divided by 1,000 is going to be 20. It's going to be 20. So when I take a square root of both sides, I'm going to get VC is equal to square root of 20. And if I take a square root of 25 squared, I'm just going to get back my 25. So then... 
if I figure out what that is, it's going to be square root of 20. Where's my square root? Where is my square root? Right here, right here. Square root of 20 times 25. 111.8 rounds to 112. And this ends up being in the same units as what we put in, which is the kilometers per hour. All right, that's it.